They say if you melt graphite with iron into molten metal, quench it, and then add acid, you can create natural diamonds. To put this rumor to the test, Grant teamed up with a master smelter. He tossed graphite and iron into a furnace, cranked the heat up to 2,500 degrees, and held it there for half an hour, hoping this might be his ticket to becoming rich overnight. Once the mixture cooled, he pulled it out and dropped it into super-concentrated hydrochloric acid. Before long, the acid turned into something that looked like pumpkin soup. Only after all the iron dissolved could they see whether any diamonds had formed. Meanwhile, Carrie stumbled upon a different recipe. All she had to do was coat graphite with 100 grams of peanut butter, microwave it for an hour, and voila, diamonds on demand. Of course, it wasn't that simple. She burned through four microwaves before realizing she'd been duped. Tori got hold of a more scientific formula from a university professor. He packed graphite and ferric nitrate into a pressure cooker, dropped in a tiny real diamond as a seed, and let it cook for 72 hours. Three days later, the results were sent to an expert for testing. Not a single diamond turned up, just useless residue. But the adventure didn't stop there. An industrial specialist stepped in, claiming he could actually make diamonds, and invited them to his lab for a demonstration. He grabbed a metal cylinder, filled it with graphite, cobalt, and a cocktail of other chemicals, sealed it tight, and placed it inside a wooden barrel packed with explosives. Then he detonated the whole thing. The idea was to mimic the heat and crushing pressure of Earth's core, forcing carbon to turn into diamond in an instant. After the blast, they cracked open the cylinder, cleaned out the mixture with chemicals, and sure enough, diamonds appeared. But they were just cheap industrial ones. In the end, the myth was busted. When it comes to diamonds, the old-fashioned way is still the only reliable one.